Hey, what's up, guys? Jake here, starting a new game of Panzer Medals. Today, I'm going to be dating the short, sweet, and very Russian T-34. Now, in this video, I'm only going to be including the scenes that are unique to her. For the full game, I'd recommend you check out my first playthrough, I Date Tiger. It's wonderful. You have a great time. I'll put a link to that up on the page. So, yeah, let's get going. Alright, so here we are on the beach. We're choosing who to do the scavenger hunt with. Let's roll with T-34. Hey, T-34, do you want to do the scavenger hunt together? Uh, not really. I mean, what's on your list? Ah, uh, let's see. You look down at your list and read it aloud. Chem light batteries, keys for a Humvee, and an ID-10T form. Ha! <laughs> what's next? Grid squares? <laughs> I don't think we're getting any of those. Hmm. You could say I took a few from Ukraine recently. Okay! Well, anyways, let's work together. Alright, I guess you can tag along. You and T-34 walk up a slight hill from the beach towards town. So, what's on your list, T-34? Huh. Gunny wants me to find tiny umbrellas, tequila, salt, a lime, sandals, and a yukata. How bothersome. It looks like a full day's work, she sighs. <coughs> For some people. <coughs> Hmm. Nothing. Let's get started. Um, sure. Alright, well, I bet we can snag some tiny umbrellas from that convenience store. Let's go check. It's probably worth a look. You and T-34 walk into the convenience store, and it looks eerily similar to the one near your apartment. Huh, funny. They use the same layout as the one in our town. That is funny, Erwin. You're a funny guy. Suddenly, you hear a shout from another part of the store. Hey, look who it is! Erwin and T-John! Gah, Sherman, I told you not to call me that, she says, annoyed. Sherman walks up with a bottle of soda in her hand and takes another swig. Oh, relax, T-John! Didn't expect to find the two of you here! Where were you this morning? We were meeting on the beach. Uh, I was running a bit late, and then I got thirsty! I'm heading there now! Well, we're on a scavenger hunt now. Gunny's orders. Awesome! Can I come with you guys? No, we're kind of... This is kind of our thing, you know? We're bonding. We're, I'm kind of doing this with T-34 at the moment. Ooh, so it's that kind of scavenger hunt, eh? She elbows you in the side. <laughs> what? No, no, no. That's not... She blushes. <laughs> Don't worry, guys! I should go report to Gunny anyways! Oh, before I go! I saw the super cute cafe down the road! You two should totally check it out! See ya! Oh, Sherman. Uh, sorry about that, T-34. <laughs> Whatever. Ha! Huh. Anyway, I found the umbrellas. Let's go check out that cafe! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and then we went to the cafe. You and T-34 enter the cafe together. Well, I'm glad we went together and we didn't go one at a time. Oh, of course they had to make this place look American. Everything these days just has to be American. Hey, aren't you American, Erwin? Yeah, although my grandfather's from Germany. Ha, <laughs> too bad. He got a wet... I uh, mean, uh... uh <coughs> anyway, at least you're not French. Hey, while we're here, do you want to get something to drink? This tea smells pretty good. Sure, why not? What else would you do in a cafe? I don't understand why you had to ask. Alright, let's see. I'll get a green tea, please. And what will you have there, little lady? If you have Russian tea, I'll take that. If not, just regular tea. Black. Well, she sure has interesting tastes. You and T-34 take a seat at a small table and wait for your drinks to be done. Cool. All right, kids, here are your drinks. He sets them in front of you and returns to the counter. I wish we could see them. It's probably going to be really tough to drink with our eyes closed. You and T-34 take a few minutes to finish your drinks. I don't know why we faded to black. We're in the same fucking place. That was really, really good. <laughs> Only thing that warms you up better than tea on a cold Moscow morning is a good hot borscht soup. Yeah, man, couldn't agree more. Can't say I ever had a chance to go to Moscow. 
If you ever get the chance, definitely go there and visit. The architecture, the history, the people, the city lights, especially the parks and small forests around it, all of it is beautiful. Once you're there, you won't want to leave. Huh, maybe I will. You'll have to show me around when I'm there, though. Wh hold up. Y you mean like a, like a date or something? Uh, yeah, why not? You smile at her. I, I guess that's okay. She blushes. Haha, <laughs> anyway, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm sure if we look around town some more, we can find the stuff. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go, she says timidly. Here we are, back in the middle of the street, a few minutes later. Alright, so we found the little umbrella, salt, and a lime. What's left? Sandals, a yakata, and some tequila, she sighs. Sarge can worry about that last part. For now, let's see if we can find that yakata. I mean, it's Japan. There has to be a place around here that sells them. I still don't know what that is. I should probably look that up. Hold on one second. So yakata is a Japanese garment, a casual summer kimono, usually made of cotton or synthetic fabric, and unlined. The more you know, right? So let's go find that. Right, let's start looking. You and T-34 continue down the street a short ways before you ask. Hey, T-34, I've only been at the school a little while, but I was wondering something. Well, you might as well ask me. Not like there's anyone else around here that will be able to tell you about tank school. Unless we happen to run into Sherman again. Um, let's take this moment to find out about that crazy tank, IS-2. Tell me about your cousin, IS-2, because quite frankly, she scares me. Why? What's there to tell? She seems kind of... completely fucking horrifying. Oh god, you didn't... Never mind. She's nuts. That's all you need to know. Can you elaborate? Let's just not go there. Trust me. She's cray cray. Okay then. Good talk. Hey, T-34, it's a clothing store. I figured we'd find one eventually. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Alright. Don't sound so excited about it, T-34. You enter the store and clothes line all the aisles. In a clothing store? No way! In the back you can see some more traditional Japanese garments. And by the register, there are plenty of different choices for swimwear. Man, there's so many different kinds of clothes in here. Who would have guessed they had variety of clothes in a clothing store? Wow! Different patterns can serve nicely for different purposes. Camouflage isn't just about the woods or the desert. It's about blending in with the environment no matter where you are. Thank you for explaining that to me because I had no idea how camouflage worked. Ha! I never really looked at clothes that way. A good armored skirt, a decent pair of guns is all a tank really needs. Ha! Right. I don't get what the gunny wants with these kind of clothes anyways. They're just so... bourgeois. You know what? Forget his errands for now. We can look around if you want. Now you're talking. I still don't have anything efficient for beat jobs, although I rarely ever have to conduct them. She starts walking over towards the swimsuit section and stops. Uh, um, you don't have to come with me or anything, she says softly. It's no problem. Maybe I can help you pick something out. Erwin is a master of swimwear. He's a fashionista. Oh, oh, okay, she says, looking shy. You both continue in the swimsuit section. You know, I think this white one would look great on you. What? Well, it's not like I asked you or anything. But... Y you really think so? Of course! <laughs> Thanks, Erwin. I might as well see if it works. My frame isn't really suited to amphibious attachments. What do you mean, see if it works? Of course it works. It's a swimsuit. It's not like it's gonna combust. She takes the white bathing suit and goes off to change. After a few moments, she comes back wearing the new bikini. <laughs> so, so, how does it look? Oh, Obviously, compliment. She looks great. Damn, you look beautiful! What? Don't say things like that! But, like... Her face turns red. But, do you really think so? Of course! It's really nice on you! The star is really... red, which seems appropriate. Alright. This one seems sufficient. I shall purchase it. Thank you, Erwin. She goes back to changing into her school clothes. Tank school ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Anyway, let's head back to the beach. Gunny can figure out his clothing and alcohol needs on his own. 
Actually, aren't we probably underage? We probably couldn't have gotten the alcohol anyways. Actually, I don't know what the drinking age is in Japan. Maybe we could have. Ha! <laughs> Sounds good to me. G34 pays for a swimsuit, and you both walk back towards the beach. Looks like we made it back to the beach before everyone else. Man, what a day. You said it. Phew. Thanks for letting me tag along, T34. It was fun. Yeah, it was. I guess. Thanks for going with me, too. I can never tell if she actually likes me or if she's just, like, tolerating me, you know? She has that air about her. I don't know. This is going to be a tricky one. After a couple of minutes, the rest of the tanks begin arriving back at the beach, and the gunny begins approaching from his beach chair in the distance. As he gets near, all the tanks begin to laugh. Once he's close enough for you to make out his face clearly, you break out in laughter. SOMETHING FUNNY, RECRUIT! Ha! Oh, no, Sergeant. This recruit, <laughs> was just wondering how the Sergeant <laughs> enjoyed his day at the beach. PERFECTLY WELL, RECRUIT! Now, you'll have the rest of the evening off, but you better be in class on time come tomorrow. That means you, Sherman. I send by! There is a fireworks festival happening tonight, and the last thing I want to hear is the sound of explosions in the night. Get your shit in gear, and I will see you tomorrow, tanks, and recruit! The tanks all begin splitting off and going back to the town, and T-34 stays back to talk with the gunny. Once she's done, you walk up to her. Ooh... Hey, um, T-34, I was wondering if maybe you'd want to go see those fireworks together? W well I, uh, sure, not like I have anything better to do, she says, blushing. Great, let's go then! Okay. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I'm doing her voice that makes her seem like a cold-hearted bitch. I don't know. After a good 30-minute kite up the hill, you start nearing the summit. T-34 has been quiet most of the way, but you catch a glimpse of her staring at you and blushing every so often. Oh, T-34. How adorable. A few minutes later, you crest the top of the hill. Do you think this is the place? How should I know? Maybe? I don't see anything yet. It's because it's dark. Well, it's pretty dark already. They should be starting soon. Thank you, Erwin. I've always liked fireworks. They remind me of the Great Patriotic War. Whoa, what's that? I believe you capitalists call it World War II or something similar. Oh, uh, yeah, right! World War II! Well, to me, the fireworks always remind me of my father. Oh, how so? Well, when I was really little, he would take me out to watch them together on the 4th of July. Family. That's sweet. Oh, is that sarcastic? Huh, yeah! We'd be out in this meadow near my house, and you could hear the cicadas in the tree line nearby. I was pretty young, though, so when the first firework of the night went off, I'd get scared and hold my father's hand really tight. Haha, <laughs> that's adorable enough to warn Siberia. Ah, so do you still stay in touch? Hmm? With your father, I mean. Oh, no, he's dead. He died when I was pretty young, fighting against the plain girls. Bastards. Oh, Erwin, I'm really sorry. It's okay, it happened a long time ago. I mean, I know I shouldn't begrudge them, but I've always hated flying ever since. Well, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm here for you. She takes your hand. Thanks, G34. I know I really shall- ah! Erwin, don't squeeze my hand so tight, she blushes. I gotta be a brave man for my little T-34, John. I, I'm not scared. I just, I wanted to, uh, to make sure you weren't scared, right? Erwin, I'm 26 tons of steel. I'm not going to be rattled by a little fire wha- ah! She squeezes your hand with the force of a medium tank. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm so sorry, Erwin. It's okay, I gotta be a big strong man. Hey, it's okay, <laughs> I'm fine. You're pretty strong then, I guess. She smiles at you, or just kind of opens her mouth in your general direction. That's close enough, right? The fireworks really are, uh, you know, pretty though. Yeah, it's nice being here with you. You're really sweet, for an American. I mean, uh, thanks for helping me on the scavenger hunt today. <sighs> Whatever. 
Eh? So how's my Russian? Isn't that German? T-34 starts giggling. <laughs> Erwin? That's not Russian. Anyway, it's Madel. Wow, she knows German better than I know Russian. But thanks anyway. Ha! <laughs> ha! Ah, right. Well, <clears throat> you're really sweet too. What are you saying? That you're really sweet. Were you listening? That well, I really like spending time with you. Well, I... I... She leans in closer to you. Ah! God, that's so fast and sudden. Uh, Erwin, I was wondering if... Maybe I could ki- <laughs> Ah! Rain! Not the rep- Repostist- Rep- Not the re Rapunzel! My treads are gonna get stuck in the mud up here! Oh, let's get you inside then! Here, take my hand, let's get back into town! Uh, okay! She takes your hand and you both start heading down the mountain. After a good 15 minutes of walking, you reach the train station. Ah, oh, thank god. Siekablach! God, fuck, I don't know how to pronounce it. At least I didn't get too wet. Huh, yeah. Well, it looks like my train is pulling in. Oh, um, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I yes, I'd like that. Let's do this again sometime. Without the rain, though, she smiles at you before getting on the train. Bye, Erwin! She shouts as the train doors close. And thus ends our first date. I should probably be getting home, too. Alright, here we are, about to call someone up for our first date. Let's give T-34 a call. Well, here goes nothing. Ring, ring. Da, T-34 speaking. Oh, T-34! Ha! Huh, funny to hear you here! Erwin, right, you're an idiot. Shit, what was that? Thank you. Um, I was just calling to ask if you wanted to possibly... You, you see... Erwin, I'm very busy. This better not be a personal call. Do you want to go on a date? <sighs> what did I say about using this line? So, so you don't want to... Tomorrow at noon is fine. Wait, what? Where are we going? The park. Don't be late. She slams the phone down. Click. And the line goes dead. Well, hopefully there's only one park in the entirety of Japan. Otherwise, this is going to be really awkward. Huh. I can't tell if I just got myself a date or I got myself a death warrant. Probably both. Well, I guess I'll see you in the morning. Yawn. Morning? Dude, it's noon. It's not morning. It's noon. You're out of the park with barely a minute to spare. Of course. Further into the park, you can see T-34 already waiting for you, tapping your foot impatiently. Wow, Erwin, way to be late to your own date. As you approach, she smiles shyly. Hey, T-34, you look really nice today. Totally different from all the other times I've seen you. Uh, um, thanks. Are you still sure about this whole date thing? I have other things I need to do. Of course I am. Come on, let's go. Ah, uh, all right then. She seems so happy to be here, you know? That's what I love about her. As you and T-34 walk through the park together, you come upon an ice cream stand. Hey, that ice cream looks good! Let's get some! My treat! What a gentleman! Sure, she smiles at you. Um, I'll have an ice cream mochi. Is that the one with a face? Yeah! Panzer IV got me into that kawaii desu ni shit. Germans. Hmm? Nothing! I'll have a vanilla ice crone. Extra ice. Hold the vanilla. Um? The shopkeeper hands you your ice cream and T-34 her... ice. You and T-34 sit down on a bench together and start eating. A few minutes later... And then, the gunny gave this weird look and said, WE AIN'T MAKING NO GODDAMN CORNFLAKES HERE! GET YOUR ASS IN GEAR! Haha, <laughs> yeah, the gunny really is something. Huh, <laughs> you know, I've never seen this part of the park before. It's really beautiful. Yeah, almost as pretty as you. Ooh, Erwin's got game, though! 
What? What's that supposed to mean? She says, blushing. It means you're fucking pretty. Take the compliment, dude. Thank you. I think you're pretty. It means that, well, I think you're as beautiful as these roses. A little red communist rose. Okay. Um, thank you. She says as her cheeks grow ever more red. Come on, let's keep going. Maybe we'll find something else here you haven't seen before? Alright. Once again, your excitement is thrilling. UNT-34 continue walking through the park, and around the bend of the path, you can see a peaceful pond. And there it is! As you approach, you can see the evening sun reflecting off the crystal clear blue water. UNT-34 sit down in a grassy knoll near the park's edge. Pond's edge. So, tell me more about your family, T-34. I already know IS-2. What about the rest of them? Why do you want to know about my family? Sorry, getting too personal, shit. Well, I'm interested in what your life is like. Okay, well, you've already met the crazy side, IS-2. My cousin on the other side of the family, KV-2, is more balanced. She's a nice girl, but sometimes kind of slow, not really the quickest runner either, if you get what I mean. Anyhow, my older sister's never really amounted to much, so there's a lot of pressure on me to succeed. Not that I can't handle it. I mean, obviously. It must be hard for you sometimes. I can relate. Oh, how so? Well, my mother always told me that my great-grandfather was some war hero, so I feel like I have to live up to that in some way. Try getting relegated from pride of the motherland to being the main battle tank for countries like the Congo and Somalia. Wait, you're still? In service? Yeah. I still moonlight on the front when I can. With your age? I ne- I'm going to give you about what- I have no idea. Some number of seconds to rephrase that. Or, I mean, I'm impressed by how long you've been in service. Huh. <laughs> nice save, Erwin, my boy. You really, really nipped that one in the bud before it got awkward. Better. Anyway, let's head out. It's getting late. Sure. Man, you can just cut through the sexual tension with a knife, I swear. You and T-34 continue walking through the park and be nearing, begin nearing the pathway out. As you walk, you can feel T-34's hand brushing against yours more than once. And again. And again. <coughs> you take her hand. Out of the corner of your eye, you can see her smiling to herself. Aw, T-34, stop it! Suddenly, around the next bend in the path, you come to the exit. Oh well, there's the way out. Yeah, I guess we should both get going then? Um, well, there was something I was wondering first. Yeah, sure, what is it? Do we have to phrase everything as a question now? Well, why did you ask me to come with you? Um... Yeah, because I like her. She's cool. Well, because I really, really like you. <laughs> oh, um... That's really nice, Erwin. I think I should probably be on my way now. Shit, did I fuck it up? She gives you a... She gives your a light hug before quickly scampering out of the park. Okay. Definitely not one for the romance. <laughs> Are you talking about T-34 or you, Erwin? Because you fucking suck at this. <clears throat> I can't say that was the best date I've ever been on, but it could have gone worse. Eh, true that, my boy. Alright, so here we are at the onsen. Uh, Tiger just scared away the bunny, so I'm gonna go help T-34 console her so she doesn't feel quite so bad. I'll come with you guys! That's sweet of you, Erwin. But you don't have to hang out with us. No problem, I just want to make sure you're okay with that whole, you know, rabbit thing. I didn't mean to scare it off, I just got excited. I didn't want to miss seeing the cute bunny. He was pretty cute, but rabbits belong in their dens in the woods. It's a good thing he ran, or Panzer IV would have scooped him up and made him the class mascot. <laughs> he was quite cute, though. The cutest mascot ever, and I, I scared him off. Tiger, it's fine. You've been terrifying Russians for years. T-34, that's not helping. <laughs> Sorry, Tiger. Just trying to be positive. I sure wish he could have been our class pet, though. Oh, Etsu, it's okay. 
Do you think he would have been happier as our mascot? I gotta agree with my girl T34. Bunnies are great mascots. It's a proven scientific fact. Yeah, rabbits can lead a difficult life. He would have made a good mascot. I might just go wait at the train station and go home. I'm gonna stick with my girl T34, Chon. Sorry, Tagger. You're on your own this time. Hey, T34, wait up! Huh? Mind if I walk with you? Oh, uh, sure? I mean, it's your call. I wish Tiger didn't feel so bad. Yeah, if only there was something one of us could have done to help her. Oh, well. Hmm? About scaring off the bunny. She'll get over it. She's a heavy tank. They're tough. Even I will admit that. I bet she appreciates you helping, though. It's the Soviet way. Help your comrades. Even the German ones. That's a good outlook. We won the war, after all. There's no more need to penalize them for their grandfather's mistakes. Wow. It's very big of you, T-34. That was not a short joke. There's a lot to be learned from each other's history and culture, but they should not be penalized for something they themselves did not do. You know, my mother always told me that my great-grandfather was a great tanker. Great, great, great. Mom always said that Dad went into the Air Force because he was afraid of not living up to great-grandfather's reputation. It's the same sort of thing. Not really, but okay. <laughs> That's silly. If he wanted to be a tanker, he should have been a tanker. That's just it. He would have made an amazing tanker. As it was, he was a decent pilot. I think. Do, do you know any member of your family, Erwin? <laughs> you think? Yeah, he died when I was young, though. And I guess nobody ever talks about him, so I would have no idea whether or not he could fly a plane well or not. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like you knew this already. It's fine, but you know what? I'm gonna stop living in my great-grandfather's shadow. I'm my own man! Open quotes, man. I'm a tanker! Would you quiet down, Mr. Tanker? People are staring. Yeah, Erwin, you got a little carried away. Take it outside, there you go. You walk further into the town together. It's beautiful, and not too chilly. After a bit, T-34 turns to you. It's wonderful weather here, huh? I'm so glad we were able to afford it in the end. Oh, and thanks for your help. Help with what? Raising the money? I didn't do anything. My pleasure. Erwin, can I ask you something? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. What do you do if you like someone... something, but you're not good at expressing yourself? You just bottle it up, and you never say anything for the entirety of your life, and then eventually you die. It's a good system. What? I'm, uh, asking for a comrade. I mean, it's a very complex question. Never mind. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, I got this. Erwin's a genius, he, he was a philosophy major in high school, he's got this. Fine, if you insist. I mean, I guess you just try to do little things. Like, maybe hold the door for them, or buy them coffee. <laughs> I hold the door for a lot of people. That's not special enough. Hold multiple doors! Hold two doors! Give them doors as a gift. Well, maybe just gather your courage and just say it. If you confess to them from the heart, I'm sure they'll say yes. Unless they say no, of course. Th that works? Sometimes. 60% of the time, it works every time. It might. Just speak from the heart. I'm sure you'll get it right. Unless you don't. Uh, okay. W well, I was asking because you see Tavish. I- I- Erwin, do you- Hey, you two! Gunny wants us back at the springs! Uh, Sherman? What? T-34 storms off into town. God, you are like a cock-blocking robot made in some kind of goddamn secret government lab, I swear. Wait, T-34! Sherman strolls up next to you, casual as always. Was it something I said? Kind of, yeah. It was everything you said, really. The next morning... And then we leave the onsen. Alright, here we are. Moment of truth. About to call T-34 and see if she wants to go to the festival with me. Da! T-34 reporting. Hey, T-34! 
Oh, hey, Erwin. Why are you calling? Well, the, um, uh, the festival is tomorrow night. Common knowledge. And I was wondering, would you like to go with me? <coughs> As my date? <coughs> okay, I'd love to. What time will you be there? Around 8.45, is that good for you? Erwin? Yeah? Thanks for asking me. I look forward to seeing you. I'll meet you there. Good night, Erwin. Night. Good talk, real romantic. We're still gonna be in love. Morning of the festival. All right, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining, birds are singing, and maggots are fucking it all up. What the hell? Do I not merit a good morning, recruit? Do I not merit a salute? Fuck. Oh, good morning, Sarge. It's too late for shit-kissing, recruit! I've had enough to hear with your insubordination! Time for an NJP! Fuck me. Your non-judicial punishment, LB. KP! Kitchen police! Not as bad as it could have been. Oh, I see that look on your face! You think you're getting off easy! Oh, Gunny Hartman, he's a big ol' limp dick! You will be peeling potatoes from dusk until dawn! You will wash them! You will dry them! By the end of today! You'll either never want to see another potato ever again, or I'll be officiating your wedding to a spud! Dismiss Recruit! God damn it. Get out of my sight! God, this sucks. After several hours, the massive pile of potatoes still looms over you as you sit on a standard issue kitchen stool. This damn stool. It's too short. One of the legs is uneven. This is worse than the potatoes. The stool squeaks. I'm willing to bet large amounts of money that the gunny sawed one of the legs on this stool short. The stool squeaks. I've never been this uncomfortable, and I was run over by a tank. The stool squeaks. Who asked you? The stool squeaks. And now, I'm talking to the stool. Wonderful. The stool is silent. Nothing to say, huh? Nothing to say now? The stool squeaks. Fuck you, stool! Suddenly, from the hallway, Erwin! I wonder who it is. Is it this guy? T-34 bursts into the room. Erwin, you... You... You Russian bad word! Huh? It was bad enough that you... I can explain... Shut up, clown! Russian bad word. It was bad enough that you she inches closer to you. Wait, T-34, I... You stood me up! You're a traitor! And traitors will be shot! I, I don't shoot me, please. I spent hours getting ready for you. I didn't have to. I didn't need to. But I wanted to. I was excited to go. It was my first... My first festival with a boy. And you weren't there. T-34, it's not my fault. Oh, you were just following orders, huh? Don't blame you. Blame the higher-ups, right? What are you, German? Well, yeah, that's where my family's from, remember? I told you that. Well, yes. Or French. I don't know. See? Yeah. Explain yourself now! Gunny NJP'd me. It was this or mopping up the rain. But it's not raining, so I had to do the potato thing. N-J-P? Blech! Non-judicial punishment. It's asinine bullshit like cutting potatoes or other manual labor. Oh. He knew it was the festival night and he knew I was gonna go. But you didn't even let me know. I stood there waiting for you, you quack. I didn't have a chance. I've been here all night with these potatoes on this goddamn stool. And of course, I don't have a cell phone or anything, despite the fact that earlier in this game we established that Erwin has a cell phone. Stool? Yeah, it keeps squeaking. The stool is once again silent. Oh, silent now, huh? The stool squeaks. See? See? I told you! Actually, that was Sherman. What? Yeah, she cut, one of the, she cut one leg on the stool short to trouble the gunny sergeant. That's not even funny. It's very American, that I can agree on. Ugh, that's totally something she would do. I was really looking forward to the festival, though. I know, I was too. I'm sorry for standing you up. Nyet, nyet. 
I am also wrong. I got mad at you without acquiring all the facts. I'm not cut out for the KGB. Mostly because you're a tank. No, you were right to be a little angry. I did kind of desert you out there. <laughs> ah, we all screw up here and there. Yeah, still. The sergeant is a bourgeois prairodactyl. Huh. What? A traitor. Ah, I can't really disagree. Either way, you should go home, though. I'm gonna be here a while. The stool squeaks mournfully. Fuck you, stool! Nobody likes you! You know, I could help with that. Chopping up potatoes is like getting information out of spies. You just need a sharp knife. Holy fucking shit. She was mad at me. That's terrifying, dude. Never piss her off. Er, you really don't have to. You should enjoy the festival and not terrify me with knives. Don't worry about it. Working together is the Soviet way, Tolverish. She grabs a potato and starts slicing. And then Erwin just kind of takes a nap. Some time passes in happy silence, as T-34 makes short work of the potatoes while you toil away on the same one you were on when she came in. The stool is blessedly silent. Hell of a date, huh? You know me very well. I prefer peeling potatoes in a drab, depressing kitchen vastly more than festivals with cute boys and friends. And kvass, and vodka, and Putin. Seriously, you're the best for helping me with this. Don't mention it, but you owe me a real date. I'm making you read some marks. Ha! Huh, when were you thinking? For the date, I mean. Because I ain't reading no fucking books. Well, even with my incredible skills as a potato peeler, the festival is basically over by now. Right. And you have your own place, right? Right. Well, we need a place to wash off the potato smell, and it would please me greatly to spend the, spend the night together. Ooh. You know, I have a shower back at my place. You could wash off the yewed potato there, and the hot water never runs out. Oh, good. I've been feeling very... dirty. Whew. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <coughs> Small problem, though. <coughs> What's that? I'm used to communal showers, spreading the water amongst the people. Well, that sounds like a good cause, right? Oh. And we don't want to be wa wasting water taking separate showers. She's got a head on her shoulder. I like her. She knows She knows what it's about. It's about saving the Earth, first and foremost. Uh? I mean, it's not like I want to take a shower with you or anything, Sika. And also, apparently, I'm talking to Tiger now. That's remarkable. She really looks a lot different in this playthrough. I like what she's done with her hair and, you know, body and everything, you know, and her personality. It's really interesting how they change it like that. Well... We've both been through a Ras Ras Batista. He's related to John Batista. You know, it's a common saying in wrestling. You arrive back at your apartment. Here we are. It's not much, but it's home. <laughs> it's nice. A little Spartan. That's how I keep my place, too. Ha! <laughs> right. Communist! Erwin, I'm sorry for being abrasive towards you when you first got here. It's cool, that's just kind of how you are, you know? It's cool. I didn't understand why you were here. It's weird, you know? Dude, I don't understand why I'm here. I kind of thought you were a pervert, but now that we've been together for a bit, I've realized you definitely are a pervert. You're a pretty good man, and hopefully a decent tanker. Th thanks, T-34. That means a lot to me. One more thing. Hmm? Did you know that during the Great Patriotic War, when we were outgunned by fascists, it was a common tactic to simply drive as fast as we could at them? Cool, a history lesson. That's what I wanted right now. Huh, I didn't know that. And ram them. Oh, ram hard. I think I'd like to be a fascist tonight. Jeez, wow, I'm getting all hot and bothered. Jesus Christ. And there you have it, folks. I think the most interesting thing here is that Erwin has a pink pillow for some reason. Especially since it's not on his fucking bed here, clearly. 
Hey, open up in there! And from here, it's pretty much the same as every other playthrough. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be sure to tune in next week when I'm going to be doing another tank. I wager it'll probably be Panzer IV. So, be sure to tune in for that. I'll see you guys next time.